Hey guys, Wrath here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can port forward your 5M server. Uh, port forwarding is very important if you want people to be able to connect to your server. Uh, so this only applies if you're a local host or hosting off a of VPS or something similar to that. If you're hosting off a game server or something, then you should be fine. So uh, the first thing we're gonna I'll, I want to go over real quick is the uh, in your server config the top of the first two. Uh, lines uh, is what you want to pay attention to so 3120 is the default port for 5M so if you haven't changed anything then 3120 is fine for you there's really no difference in changing it apart from if you just want it to be different so if you have something other than 3120 listed uh, in your server config for both uh, then when I'm putting 3120 um, for, uh, further into the video uh, you can just put in whatever one that uh, you made. So, without with that out of the way, um, we should be done here. What you want to do? Go into your uh, search bar, type in Windows Defender Firewall Advanced Security or the normal one. Go to Inbound Rules. Okay, first thing you want to do: click on New Rule up to the right. Port. Next, we'll start off with the TCP 3120. Next, allow the connection. Next, okay, here you just you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it 5M PCP for organization. Okay, click new rule again. Port. Next, UDP this time. 3120. Oops, 3120. Okay, allow the connection. Next, next, and then 5M UDP. Okay, outbound rules. New rule. Port. Next, TCP. 3120, next, allow, next, next, 5M TCP, okay, and then for the last one, port, next, UDP, 5M UDP, or no, 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 my bad, 3120, getting a bit caught up here, next, allow connection, next, next, and then 5M UDP. So once you're finished with uh, these steps, you should have uh, 5M TCP, 5M UDP, uh, so two new rules and inbound rules, 5M UDP and 5, uh, 5M TCP in outbound rules, so two in each, and that should be fine if you're using on a VPS or anything like that, so you should just be able to stop here and you, you'll be fine. If you need any additional assistance uh, in the comments down below, I should be able to help you. So You should also be doing this if you're home hosted, but... Now we gotta continue, so uh, you can minimize that. Next thing you wanna do, open your command prompt, type in ipconfig, okay, in your default gateway. You wanna get that, copy and paste that, default gateway. Open up a browser, okay. Copy what you have in your default gateway here. Oh, copy it, okay. And now, basically, I'll we'll stop here just for a second. So, what you need now, is the username and password to your router so it's not your it shouldn't be your Wi-Fi password and stuff like that um, if you don't know it the it, uh, they normally have default ones I think it's admin admin so uh, username admin password admin um, and if you still can't figure it out uh, re just reset the password um, with the serial number on your router I believe or your password may be on your router so uh, once you get all that figured out, I already know mine, so I'll just do admin, type in my password. Okay, oops, messed up. Okay. So now that uh, you're in, basically, if you get any pop-ups, just close them. Okay, so now that you're here, basically what you want to do is you want to go to advanced. That's normally where most stuff is. Your router might look different. And you can just search up the port forwarding tutorial on your for your router, and it should help you out. So go to advanced setup, or whatever yours looks like. Port forwarding, so that's port uh, triggering. Okay, so uh, now what you want to do is, for this, I have port forwarding selected. You want to click uh, add custom service. So this might be different for you. It might say add service or something like that. So what you want to do for the service name, or if it says name or something, it, it can be whatever you want. You can just name it whatever. Protocol, TCP, UDP. Uh, port is going to be a 3120, the external port range. You can just leave, uh, use the same port 
um, and then it'll just automatically go there. Okay, and the last thing you wanna do is internal IP address, and basically, most routers, I believe, will just automatically bring up a little table that has all the addresses listed. Um, so if you know your, your de uh, device name, you can just select it with that. If not, open up uh, the command prompt, uh, find your IPv4 address, so this is mine right here, and then you just match it with the one here. So if, if uh, mine was this one, I would just click uh, this one, and then I would click apply, and I would create the new one. I'm not going to, because it will conflict with my already existing stuff. So once you do that, uh, you should be good once you create a new one and everything. So you can just close out of this, once you save and everything. And yeah, now what you wanna do is you just open your um, your server, your start.bat or your, um, if, if you're doing it to TX admin or whatever. And it should be working after like, if you wait like about a minute, you can open up this and this is a pretty nice little program. Search up can you see me org. So it will ha already have your IP 3120 check port and if your server was running it would it should say success we found your port at and then the information but since mine's not running you won't see that uh, a couple things um, for others to connect your server they don't use the IPv4 but we basically what you want to do you want to come over here and you can just search up uh, like public IP and it'll show your your IP and stuff you want them to connect through that so if you're using a VPS uh, it'll already list you your IP if you're using localhost just do what I just said, search up what's my IP, and people can just connect through that. So that should uh, that should have helped you guys. Um, that's basically all you need to do, really. If you have any more questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below, and I'll be able to assist you guys there. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day.